Before we start with everything, let me explain to you what we're making. It's really simple, we're making a booking system. You have a lot of companies that want to automate the process of receiving bookings. Think of barbershops, yoga schools, and even restaurants. And we're gonna develop a super generic booking system that allows me to have all these different types of bookings. And after we're done with that, we can expand to a lot of different niches. So let's go. I've already gone ahead and make my initial commit. For now, I'm gonna start with designing the database. And for that, I use dbdiagram.io, it's like a sandbox where you can like create databases and design them. The most important thing about this database is that it needs to take on multiple different bookings. For example, one-on-one -on -one bookings, like with a barber, where you have one person visiting and you have the barber. You have a group on one booking that's like a yoga class. A group of people can book with one person. And then you have like a group on group booking, like in a restaurant where you have a table that takes four people and a group can book that table. Um, so that's like the main thing I need to think about when designing this database. Let's get to it. I think I got my initial database uh, ready. Um, he's a big fan of it. These databases always change throughout development, so I'm pretty sure this is not the final version. So this is one I can work with for now, and let me explain it to you real quick. Right here, we have the user, and the user is connected to a business and connected to the registration progress. Next to that, the business is connected to several different things, which is a provider service, which is a connection table between the business and a provider. It's connected to a business customer, which is a connection table between business and customer. And next to that, it is connected to a provider, which acts like a employee. Then we have slots, which is like a time slot for a provider, which they can offer a provider service. And there is a booking, which is connected to the customer and to a slot. And last but not least, we have the service itself. This can be like a uh, nail polish or a barber appointment or a yoga class anything like that what do you think of the database i'm pretty satisfied with the initial setup of this database i think i can work with this from here throughout the whole SaaS project this will change a dozen of times so yeah i think this is a solid base to just start creating models and migrations right now so let's do that for the last 20 minutes of deep work tonight and then i'm gonna relax for the rest of the night let's go So I just got done with two hours of deep work. Um, I also work eight hours a day and um, I'm trying to create all these new habits this new year, which is meditation, working out, yoga, eating healthy, all those stuff. Yeah, I also strictly plan two hours of deep work. I just got done with that. Just got done with starting on the models and the migrations. And tomorrow I'm going to continue. And after that, we can start creating a register flow where the user can register their profile and their business. So I'm pretty hyped with all the progress we made tonight. But for now, I'm just going to relax and I'll see you all tomorrow. Good evening, everyone. It's Tuesday. I'm pretty tired. And I don't know if that means that I should go <laughs> to the couch and relax for the night or that I should go get it and work on the application. But I'm too stubborn to listen to that. So I'm going to work on the application. I'm probably tired because I'm trying to get all of these new habits in my routine, which costs some energy, but it's all for the better. I actually got this habit tracker on Notion, uh, which I already started customizing, which I'm going to show you real quick to share with you all what I hope that all my new habits are going to be this year. So give me a second to open that up. So as you can see, I got four routines right now. Um, I got work evening is after work Friday because I'm free on Fridays. And weekends, I'm still working on this on the go. The habits I want to have at work is standing for 30 minutes. So, um, and I want to up that to uh, an hour a day. And after that, even more. But for now, just 30 minutes. And I want to lunch healthy because it's very hard. They have a lot of good food. And I love good food, uh, but it's not the healthy food. So, uh, yeah, I'm working on that. Um, and I can check these off and measure the progress per week. Evenings after work, I want to meditate. Um, I just did that, so I can check that one off. Yoga once a week, work out tw uh, twice a week, do two hours of deep work on YouTube and my application, and read a book. Next to that, on the weekend, I got some other stuff, like working on the house, uh, two hours of studying, and a weekly reflection with my accountability partner, Dennis. Those are the habits for now that I wanna adapt to my life. I'm taking it easy. I'm not doing it hardcore straight away because I don't want it to fail. I just want to create the habits, and then I want 
gonna up the ante on the habits. Yeah, with that being said, yesterday I designed the database um, and I'm pretty satisfied with how it is right now. I'm gonna work on the models, uh, the connections of the models and the migrations. And after that, we're gonna start with the registration flow. I hope to finish the models and the migrations tonight and I hope to make a start on the registration flow. If not, all good because it's a marathon, not a sprint. So let's go get it. Quick update, it's like 50 minutes past 10 right now and I usually quit at 10. I'm feeling super tired so I can't wait to dive into my bed but um, I got the migrations ready and I got the models connected with the right relationships that means that tomorrow night we can start working on the registration flow for that I'm using Shetzian um, but I'm gonna explain that tomorrow another cool note uh, friends of mine are going on vacation and they asked if we could watch their bunnies <laughs> and they, they just brought them over and just look how cute this is there's like a really small bunny over here and it's super cute. Um, they seem pretty chill with adapting to a new environment, so it's gonna be a fun week, um, but I'm gonna hit the hay for now, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Ah. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. It's Thursday today. It's seven o'clock. I just got done with work. I took a shower and tonight I'm going to the movies. First, I'm gonna work on the Regist of Flow. Tuesday, we fixed the models and the migrations. And now it's really important that users can register to the application and also add their business to their profile. For the front end, I'm using Shetzian, which is like a component library for React. And Shetzian is based on Redux, which is also a component library. And you can install your own elements in Redux. You can drop like your brand styling on top of it and use those components. And Shetzian is just a styled version of Redux. I'm using it because it saves me a lot of time. Yeah, and tonight I'm gonna take you along the way with creating a register the flow. So let's go. Mad back and I'm back in it happening, ready to blow. I remember doing deeds with Deji from the street, they left me on my own. Monk asking me about how I got the PR told to leave him on my grow. I already went ahead and I installed Laravel Breeze, which is like a starter kit for Laravel, which already gives you login, register, and everything around that. I just played around with ChatCN and I already got this going on, and I already styled my register form. The next thing I'm gonna fix is the second step of the register form. Basically, when you're done with the first step where you register your account, you're being logged into the application. Then you're being redirected to the second step. And if you try to go to the dashboard in the meanwhile, uh, we will direct you back to the second step because we really need people to register our business before doing anything in the application because it's fundamental to add employees and stuff to your account. So yeah, I'm gonna build that second step right now and the logic behind it, so let's go. It's a new morning, I'm gonna make some breakfast and then we're gonna work on the second step of the register flow, so let's go. So yesterday evening we went ahead and we started working on a second step of the register form. I'm gonna continue in that right now and eat my breakfast, so let's do some deep work. So I just duplicated the first register form and uh, changed all the data in it. Just to make sure that people don't go to the dashboard after registering or anywhere else in the application, I made some middleware that checks if they register their business because that's just super important. If not, they will be redirected back to step two. So that's working right now. So this is just a class that you add to the routing and this class just checks if one of these is not true and if not, it will redirect you to step two in the register form and if it just proceeds with your request. Pretty simple stuff, but really important to not let people tinker around in your application and just to be a bit more safe. Now I think I can start working on the dashboard environment. First thing I want is like a, a sidebar, which I'm also gonna use from Shetzian. And after that, I think I will create the functionality to add a employee to your business so also with past applications I like to just work throughout the flow of a user how they are going to use the application and from there I build the application up of course you have some base steps like designing a database making models all those kind of things and after that I just follow the the full customer experience throughout the application and for me that worked pretty well so let's get working on the dashboard then. I try to touch you, but baby you know I don't have a clue hours further and I think I'm pretty satisfied with the new sidebar menu. I'm just gonna show you what I've got with two hours of work. So we got this whole sidebar. This shows the business name, business type. It has dashboard, bookings, 
customers, employees, services. Um, this is not final, but it's good for now. And then support and settings and just something to go to your profile um, and something like that. But for now, I think I'm gonna start uh, the functionality behind adding employees to the business. And after that, I will start doing my favorite thing in the world and that is making tests. So let's go. It's four o'clock right now and the past two hours I've been trying to get these data tables to display. It wasn't working the way I wanted to, but it is now. I'm gonna connect the right data to it and then I'm gonna call it quit for today to edit this video and work out and hang out with Dennis. So let's do that last bit of work. So we managed to do it. Um, the data is rendering in the table. It's super ugly right now, but the functionality is working, which is like a super solid start for the next big task, which is adding employees to your business. After you add these employees, you can give them working hours and slots and services, and then you can book these. So yeah, the progress is pretty steady this week. I'm really happy. I really think that Using these front-end components is speeding up the process a lot for me. Um, even though I, I, I basically started out as a front-end developer and I love front-end development, this is just super chill for developing MVPs. Later on, you can change it around, but for now, I'm just super happy with this. So I can show you real quick. If we visit the employees tab, we got my name there. That means that I'm gonna quit for today. We've been working for pretty long today, so I'm gonna work out and then I'm gonna eat dinner. And after that, I will start editing this video. So yeah, take care. So that's it for this week. We made a pretty good progress with the database, register flow, and also with the dashboard. Next week, we're gonna continue with adding employees to your business. And I wanna thank you all for watching. And it would mean the world to me if you could subscribe so that other like-minded people can find this channel. And I hope to see you all next time.